Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm just gonna share some Christmas baking tags. These can be put on anything that you hand make or bake. I personally can't bake, but I think these would be cute. I think people would buy them at like craft um, craft fairs, like so they can put it on stuff they can make because not all crafters can bake and not all bakers can craft, right? Well, at least for me, I can craft, but I can't bake. <laughs> uh, KS Craft, I'm gonna use the larger of this heart tag, double layering tag. And then I also use this one, which is just scallops um, minus the hearts, as you can see. So I use those two bigger ones. Then I used um, KS Craft, their new like baking stuff. I used the measuring cups and then the little measuring spoons. And these are shakers. You can make them shakers, but I didn't. Then the smaller of the mixer, there is two sizes. There's a large one and then this smaller one. I used this one. I also used the gingerbread stamps like and the um, coordinating like little dies to cut them out same with the little heart die one like let's swap handmade the best stuff like that and then i use this gorgeous poinsettia die i saw wandy sweets crafting with it and i was like oh i can't wait to play with it look at the detail on the embossing on this you guys it is so pretty um, you can't really tell on my project because it's, I used glitter and then I also used a very uh, busy pattern so it was hard to tell so I wanted to show you guys on this. It's stunning. So this first one right here I just did some little like burlap string or whatever jute whatever it's called. I did the background piece in glitter cardstock and 110 pounds so it's really sturdy. Um, I used a little measuring cup in the background in silver cardstock. Then I just did the spoon. I did leave the little layering pieces in there because I didn't want to lose them. I feel like once I cut them out like that, then they're going to be hasta la vista. Um, so I just left them in there and just left it kind of like a hollow looking spoon. Then with the stamps, I did it's cookie time and I cut it out and puffed everything up on like dimensional foam, each of the layers. Um, around this, it's cookie time in the flower. I did go in with my diamond dust. I just went around the very edge with my reptile glue and the fine tip nozzle that I bought and I just kind of went around the edges and then dunked the whole card in this diamond dust. This is a little crochet like leaf thing. And then I did go ahead and stitch the entire tag before I started gluing it down. I did go ahead with my Nouveau drops in white and just did three at the very top. I love white on any of like pattern paper, it just makes it pop. But here's another one similar to that. I used a different, um, I did use the new Snowflake collection. Um, I just used these two pieces of paper. I didn't use embellishments or anything. So you can't really tell that's, that's what collection it's from. This one says, let's get baked. Again, with the flower, just alternated the colors, basically. A little Nouveau drop, some stitching. Next is this one right here. Um, I used the heart border tag on this one. As you can see, it's a little bit different. It's also a little bit smaller than this one by a hair, like shorter. So I got these bells from the dollar store and then I just tied some little like twine around it to give it like a little bow. Again, using the Snowflake paper collection, I stitched it. I did go ahead and assemble the little, the mixer in gold because who wouldn't want a gold KitchenAid mixer? I did some of the pieces, not all the pieces, and I moved them around like, I don't know, that piece. The bowl, I did not make a shaker. I just used this stamp and die set that says handmade. So I cut it, I stamped it twice and then cut it out and I just cut the little tag part off. And it's all puffed up on dimensional tape. I'm loving the way these turned out. And then this one, I just backed it in gold cardstock and did a white mixer with black accents. Again, with the handmade little bow, jute string and some stitching. So yeah, those are my little baking tags and I will catch you guys on the next crafty video. Bye guys.